Coal mining in India began in 1774 when John Sumner and Suetonius Grant Heatley of the East India Company commenced commercial exploitation in the Ranaganj coalfield along the western bank of Damodar River. Growth remained slow for nearly a century due to low demand. The introduction of steam locomotives in 1853 boosted demand, and coal production rose to an annual average of 1 million metric tons, 1 .1 million short tons. India produced 6.12 million metric tons, 6.75 million short tons of coal per year by 1900 and 18 million metric tons, 20 million short tons per year by 1920. Coal production rose steadily over the next few decades and was boosted by demand caused by World War 1 production slumped in the interwar period, but rose to 30 million metric tons, 33 million short tons by 1946 largely as a result of World War 2. In the regions of British India known as Bengal, Bihar and Odisha, the Indians pioneered Indian involvement in coal mining from 1894. They broke the previous monopolies held by British and other Europeans, establishing many collieries. Seth Kora Ramji Chada of Sinugra was the first Indian to break the British monopoly in the Jaria coalfields. Other Indian communities followed the example of the Kshatriyas in the Danbad Jaria Bikara fields after the 1930s. These included the Punjabis, Kuchis, Marwaris, Gujaratis, Bengalis and Hindustanis. Following independence, the Government of India introduced several five-year development plans. Annual production rose to 33 million metric tons, 36 million short tons at the beginning of the first five-year plan. The National Coal Development Corporation NCDC was established in 1956 with the aim of increasing coal production efficiently by systematic and scientific development of the coal industry. The Indira Gandhi administration nationalized coal mining in phases, coking coal mines in 1971-72 and non-coking coal mines in 1973. With the enactment of the Coal Mines Nationalization Act, 1973, all coal mines in India were nationalized on 1 May 1973. This policy was reversed by the Narendra Modi administration four decades later. In March 2015, the government permitted private companies to mine coal for use in their own cement, steel, power or aluminium plants. The Coking Coal Mines Nationalization Act, 1972 and the Coal Mines Nationalization Act, 1973 were repealed on 8 January 2018. In the final step toward denationalization, on 20 February 2018, the government permitted private firms to enter the commercial coal mining industry. Under the new policy, mines will be auctioned to the firm offering the highest per ton price. The move broke the monopoly over commercial mining that state-owned Coal India has enjoyed since nationalisation in 1973. India has the fifth largest coal reserves in the world, and is the fourth largest producer of coal in the world, producing 662.79 million metric tons .60 million short tons in 2016-17. As on 31 March 2017, India had 315.14 billion metric tons 347.38 billion short tons of the resource. The estimated total reserves of lignite coal as on 31 March 2017 was 44.70 billion metric tons 49.27 billion short tons. Due to high demand and poor average quality, India is forced to import high quality coal to meet the requirements of steel plants. India's coal imports have risen from 49.79 million metric tons, 0.05488 billion short tons in 2007-08 to 190.95 million metric tons, 0.21049 billion short tons in 2016-17. India S coal exports rose from 1.63 million metric tons, 1.80 million short tons in 2007-08 to 2.44 million metric tons, 2.69 million short tons in 2012-13, but subsequently declined to 1.77 million metric tons, 1.95 million short tons in 2016-17. Danbad city is the largest coal producing city. Topic History Topic Topic Pre independence Topic 
Commercial exploitation of coal in India began in 1774 with John Sumner and Suetonius Grant Heatley of the East India Company in the Raniganj coalfield along the western bank of Damodar River. The growth of Indian coal mining remained slow for nearly a century due to low demand. The introduction of steam locomotives in 1853 boosted demand, and coal production rose to an annual average of 1 million metric tons, 1 .1 million short tons. India produced 6.12 million metric tons, 6.75 million short tons of coal per year by 1900 and 18 million metric tons, 20 million short tons per year by 1920. Coal production received another boost during the First World War due to increased demand, but slumped again in the early 1930s. Production reached a level of 29 million metric tons, 32 million short tons by 1942 and 30 million metric tons, 33 million short tons by 1946 in the regions of British India known as Bengal, Bihar and Odisha. The many Indians pioneered Indian involvement in coal mining from 1894. They broke the previous monopolies held by British and other Europeans, establishing many collieries at locations such as Kas Jaria, Jamadoba, Balahari, Tisra, Katrasgar, Kailuda, Kusunda, Govindpur, Sijua, Sijwa, Loyabad, Donsar, Buli, Burmo, Mugma, Chasnala Bikara, Bugada, Putki, Cherkunda, Baura, Sinada, Kendwadi, and Dumka. Seth Kora Ramji Chada of Kutch was the first Indian to break the British monopoly in the Jaria coalfields. Natwarlal Devram Jethwa says that the East Indian Railway in 1894–95 extended its line from Barakar to Danbad via Katras and Jaria. Messrs. Kora Ramji in 1894 was working on railway lines contract of Jaria branch line and with his brother Jetha Lira was also building Jaria railway station, when he discovered coal in Jaria belt. The location of his three collieries named Jinagora, Kas Jaria, Gararia is mentioned also in 1917 Gazetteers of Bengal, Assam, Bihar and Odisha. Other Indian communities followed the example of the him in the Danbad Jaria Bikara fields after the 1930s. These included the Punjabis, Kuchis, Marwaris, Gujaratis, Bengalis and Hindustanis. Post-independence Topic. Following independence, the Government of India introduced several five-year development plans. Annual production rose to 33 million metric tons, 36 million short tons at the beginning of the first five-year plan. The National Coal Development Corporation NCDC, a Government of India undertaking, was established in 1956 with the collieries owned by the railways. The NCDC aimed to increase coal production efficiently by systematic and scientific development of the coal industry. The Singareni Collieries Company Limited SCCL, which was already in operation since 1945 and which became a government company under the control of Government of Andhra Pradesh in 1956. The coal industry in India was thus controlled by state-owned companies in the 1950s. Today, SCCL is a joint undertaking of Government of Telangana and Government of India sharing its equity in 51 to 49 ratio. <laughs> Nationalization of coal mines Right from its genesis, the commercial coal mining in modern times in India has been dictated by the needs of the domestic consumption. India has abundant domestic reserves of coal. Most of these are in the states of Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Telangana and Madhya Pradesh. On account of the growing needs of the steel industry, a thrust had to be given on systematic exploitation of coking coal reserves in Jaria coalfield. Adequate capital investment to meet the burgeoning energy needs of the country was not forthcoming from the private coal mine owners. Unscientific mining practices adopted by some of them and poor working conditions of labor in some of the private coal mines became matters of concern for the government. On account of these reasons, the central government took a decision to nationalize the private coal mines. The nationalization was done in two phases, the first with the coking coal mines in 1971-72 and then with the non-coking coal mines in 1973. In October, 1971, the Coking Coal Mines Emergency Provisions Act, 1971 provided for taking over in public interest of the management of coking coal mines and coke oven plants pending nationalization. 
This was followed by the Coking Coal Mines Nationalization Act, 1972 under which the Coking Coal Mines and the Coke Oven Plants other than those with the Tata Iron and Steel Company Limited and Indian Iron and Steel Company Limited were nationalized on May 1, 1972 and brought under the Bharat Coking Coal Limited BCCL, a new central government undertaking. Another enactment, namely the Coal Mines Taking Over of Management Act, 1973, extended the right of the Government of India to take over the management of the coking and non-coking coal mines in seven states including the coking coal mines taken over in 1971. This was followed by the nationalization of all these mines on May 1, 1973 with the enactment of the Coal Mines Nationalization Act, 1973 which determined the eligibility of coal mining in India. All non-coking coal mines were nationalized in 1973 and placed under Coal Mines Authority of India. In 1975, Eastern Coalfields Limited, a subsidiary of Coal India Limited, was formed. It took over all the earlier private collieries in Ranaganj Coalfield. Ranaganj Coalfield covers an area of 443.50 square kilometers, 171.24 square miles, and has total coal reserves of 8,552.85 million metric tons, 9,427.90 million short tons. Eastern Coalfields puts the reserves at 29.72 billion metric tons, 32.76 billion short tons. That makes it the second largest coalfield in the country in terms of reserves. The North East Indian states enjoys special privileges under Constitution of India. The Sixth Schedule of Constitution and Article 371 of Constitution allows state governments to formulate its own policy in order to recognize customary tribal laws. For example, Nagaland has its own coal policy which allows its natives to mine coal from their respective lands. Similarly, coal mining in Meghalaya was rampant till imposition of ban on coal mining by National Green Tribunal. The Nagaland coal and Meghalaya coal has large buyers in North India, Central India and Eastern India. Topic denationalization of coal mines Topic Parliament enacted the Coal Mines Special Provisions Act, 2015 in March 2015 containing provisions enabling the government to allocate coal mines through auctions. The law also permitted private players to mine coal for use in their own cement, steel, power or aluminium plants. On 20 February 2018, the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs CCEA permitted private firms to enter the commercial coal mining industry in India. Under the new policy, mines will be auctioned to the firm offering the highest per tonne price. The move broke the monopoly over commercial mining that state-owned Coal India has enjoyed since nationalization in 1973. Establishment of coal regulator is needed to implement the policy in transparent and non-discriminatory manner. The Coking Coal Mines Nationalization Act 1972 and the Coal Mines Nationalization Act 1973 were repealed by the Repealing and Amending Second Act 2017 on the 8th of January 2018. Topic reserves Topic India has the fifth largest coal reserves in the world. As on 31 March 2017, India had 315.14 billion metric tons 347.38 billion short tons of the resource. The known reserves of coal rose 2.05% over the previous year, with the discovery of an estimated 6.34 billion metric tons 6.99 billion short tons. The estimated total reserves of lignite coal as on 31 March 2017 was 44.70 billion metric tons 49.27 billion short tons. The energy derived from coal in India is about twice that of the energy derived from oil, whereas worldwide, energy derived from coal is about 30% less than energy derived from oil. Coal deposits are primarily found in eastern and south-central India. Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana and Maharashtra accounted for 98.20% of the total known coal reserves in India. As on 31 March 2017, Jharkhand and Odisha had the largest coal deposits of 26.16% and 24.52% respectively. Topic distribution of coal reserves by states topic The following table shows the estimated coal reserves in India by state as on 31 March 2016. Topic distribution of lignite reserves by states topic The following table shows the estimated lignite reserves in India by state as on 31 March 2016. 
Topic production topic the production of coal was 662.79 million metric tons 730.60 million short tons in 2016-17 a growth of 4.69% over the previous year the production of lignite was 45.23 million metric tons, 49.86 million short tons in 2016-17, a growth of 3.17% over the previous fiscal. India is ranked second in world coal production. The top producing states are Odisha, C. Talchur in Angle district, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. Other notable coal mining areas include Korba Coalfield in Korba district, Chhattisgarh, Gevra Mines, Asia's largest open cast mine, Singareni Collieries in Bhadradi district, Old Kamam district, Telangana Jaria Mines in Danbad district, Jharkhand Nagpur and Chandrapur district, Maharashtra Raniganj in Bardaman district, West Bengal Naveli Lignite Mines in Kudalur district, Tamil Tamil Nadu Singrauli Coalfield and Umaria Coalfield in Madhya Pradesh Topic Consumption Topic Industries in India consumed 841.56 mt of raw coal in 2016-17. The largest consumers of coal in India are electricity generation 527.26 mt, steel and washery industries 54.15 mt, cement industries 6.43 mt and sponge iron industries 5.68 mt. Consumption of lignite stood at 43.16 mt in 2016-17. Electricity generation alone accounts for 89.96% of the total lignite consumption. Due to high demand and poor average quality, India is forced to import high quality coal to meet the requirements of steel plants. India's coal imports have risen from 49.79 million metric tons, 0.05488 billion short tons in 2007-08 to 190.95 million metric tons, 0.21049 billion short tons in 2016-17. India's coal exports rose from 1.63 million metric tons, 1.80 million short tons in 2007-08 to 2.44 million metric tons, 2.69 million short tons in 2012-13, but subsequently declined to 1.77 million metric tons, 1.95 million short tons in 2016-17. Topic electricity generation topic As on 31 October, the installed capacity of coal power in India was 186,492.88 MW, accounting for 60.7% of the total installed capacity. India's electricity sector consumed about 72% of the coal produced in the country in 2013, a large part of Indian coal reserve is similar to Gondwana coal. It is of low calorific value and high ash content. The carbon content is low in India's coal, and toxic trace element concentrations are negligible. The natural fuel value of Indian coal is poor. On average, the Indian power plants using India's coal supply consume about 0.7 kg of coal to generate a kWh, whereas United States thermal power plants consume about 0.45 kg of coal per kWh. This is because of the difference in the quality of the coal, as measured by the gross calorific value GCV. On average, Indian coal has a GCV of about 4,500 kilocalories per kilogram, whereas the quality elsewhere in the world is much better. For example, in Australia, the GCV is 6,500 kilocalories per kilogram approximately. India imported nearly 95 mtoe of steam coal and coking coal which is 29% of total consumption to meet the demand in electricity, cement and steel production. Coal mafia the state-owned coal mines of Bihar now Jharkhand after the division of Bihar state were among the first areas in India to see the emergence of a sophisticated mafia, beginning with the mining town of Danbad. It is alleged that the coal industry's trade union leadership forms the upper echelon of this arrangement and employs caste allegiances to maintain its power. Pilferage and sale of coal on the black market, inflated or fictitious supply expenses, falsified worker contracts and the expropriation and leasing out of government land have allegedly become routine. A parallel economy has developed with a significant fraction of the local population employed by the mafia in manually transporting the stolen coal for long distances over unpaved roads to illegal mafia warehouses and points of sale. The coal mafia has had a negative effect on Indian industry, with coal supplies and quality varying erratically. 
Higher quality coal is sometimes selectively diverted, and missing coal is replaced with stones and boulders in railway cargo wagons. A human corpse has been discovered in a sealed coal wagon. In June 2012, the Bollywood epic Gangs of Wasipur was released portraying the coal mafia in the area of Danbad. The movie received overwhelming response and was declared a hit. Another Bollywood movie Gunday was also loosely based upon coal mafia. See also Topic Ministry of Coal Indian Coal Allocation Scam 1965 Danbad Coal Mine Disaster Mining Scams in India Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic Trippy MH and SJ Tewalt, 2011. Geographic Information System GIS Representation of Coal-Bearing Areas in India and Bangladesh. Reston, VA, U.S. Department of the Interior, U.S. Geological Survey. 